one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Leah Kitties is a larger streamer that I believe is an ASMR streamer or at least a streamer that does, you know, the hot tub streams type of thing, but as a, um, as a VTuber. Anyways, they have their own format of doing things. And recently, she has been a uh, victim of a larger creator called Stable Ronaldo, who's actually around 3 million subs, I believe. Isn't he hate rating like super duper against Twitch TOS? I wonder how much more Ronaldo uh, makes Amazon and sub ad revenue. So we're going to go over this right now. This is the actual part out here. I want to get to the actual evidence because, um, you know, anyone can make screenshots. So I want to actually show you. Leah Kitties themselves. Hey, Stable Ronaldo, using my stream as your content right tonight and allowing your chat to come in, call me slurs and S the hell out of me is deplorable. As a Twitch partner with 3 million followers, you should know better than to use smaller streamers for content. You are specifically going to feminine presenting streamers tonight and allowing your viewers to harass them and specifically ASMR and hot tub categories. While you are not responsible for your chat, you saw what happened and deliberately made these streamers upset for content. Not only was I ridiculed in my chat, but I was also a target of slurs, degrading, and S in yours for over 7,000 7, viewers. I expect to be treated with dignity and respect on Twitch. I was not showed either by you or by your community tonight. I ask kindly that you not send, harass, or just deeply upset. Uh, you know, I just feel deeply upset after tonight's events. A night meant to celebrate 45k followers became one riddled with anxiety and hatred i just hope the style of content is and it becomes eradicated i hope so too because it's, it's not it's not cool to do this kind of stuff honestly it really isn't my vod is up if you would like to see my perspective i think it happened towards the tail end of the stream or soon after pretended to be okay with the treatment i had received but as soon after i confided in my community about how distressed i was so these people are like i'm so sorry you had to deal with this of course it's really bad Brew, I'm so sorry you had to go with this experience, Leah. This is absolutely abhorrent behavior from both the streamer and his chat. I hope you know that many people love your con you and your content. Uh, please don't let this experience discourage you. And I have a clip that I want to show you, including it. Well, the chat is kind of behind me, but um, we're going to try to include this in here for you. All right, I moved myself so you guys can actually see some of what's going on when it comes to his chat. This is after the fact, I believe, of what was happening and him uh, kind of just kind of trying to toss it to the side and be like, eh, whatever. Just 125 is dumb light, gang. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your fighting weight or that's just your living weight? I'm getting called out for sexual harassment. Yeah. <laughs> AE at Stable Ronaldo, using my stream Yo, as a tonight and allowing your chumming call me slurs and sexualize the hell out of me is deplorable. Ron. As a Twitch partner with 3 million followers, you should know better than use smaller streamers for content. You are specifically going to female presenting streamers tonight, allowing your viewers to harass them, especially ASMR and hot tub categories. While you're not responsible for your chat, Wait, who you saw that? what happened. They're tweeting me. They're trying to They're trying to get me banned. Not only was I ridiculed in your chat, but was also a target of slurs, Cut, F, no. and sexualization. Yeah, he's, he's repeating what I just said. I expect to be treated with dignity and respect on Twitch. Hey, 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 uh, woman. And Leah Kitties, I literally went to the ASMR check section. My VOD is still up. If you want to fucking lie on my name and slander my name, you can do that. But guess what? I literally said on my fucking VOD, anyone sexualizing to ban them in my chat. Hey, news fucking flash, okay? I'm not a botter, okay? I've got real fucking viewers, okay? Some of that you, some of you guys who do fucking reruns to run ads and violate the Twitch terms and service that nobody fucking does, and you still fucking do it while you do your stupid fucking reruns and then don't disclose it by making money off of it, maybe you should be banned. But guess what? I literally said anybody typing anything sexual get banned in my chat. I cannot control your chat. That is what moderators are for. And guess what? Another terms of service service on Twitch is you need to have a moderated chat. So if your mods aren't doing it, that's also not my fault. I don't give a fuck. I'm not, over, I'm not over. I'm not over sexualizing you. You're fucking like what? Wait, I'm over sexualized wait. Twitch women. I go outside if I want a woman. Okay, so he's unapologetic. Obviously, as you can see, he's very unapologetic about this. This is not the way you you skirt. You you, you know you change controversy. This is not what you do when you are uh, called out like this. You talk. You, you're like, oh my goodness. Okay, I I messed up. I did this. I did that. Uh, you are not supposed to be like this. It it shows how immature this person is. It shows how much of a kid this person is. Uh, they did not, they do not have any maturity at all. You could be like, instead of being angry, you could be like, you know what? I apologize if my chat uh, did that. I was not able to control them fully as much. I tried my best to make it this way, that way, instead of being angry and, and claiming that they're botting, number one, claiming that they're botting, and number two, claiming that, you know, they're breaking terms of service for other things that they do. This is not the way to change controversy. Now that we saw what he said, 
Let's see what people are saying down here. They're saying uh, he's probably trying to be reasonable deniability route, personally saying hateful things. Even if Leah Kitties here seems somewhat fall for the explicitly saying he wasn't hateful, while obviously directing his chat and targets, they can hate on not moderating it. I'm not sure what Twitch falls for, but they're kind of uh, so and so on issues uh, like this, and it's about smaller streamers, so they might just ignore it. Yeah, it's whoever makes more money for Twitch and YouTube. They're both that way, unfortunately. And this is the the the, the clip that I showed you guys. It said that you have a trip over to clarify that he didn't say any of that himself, but that he also didn't do anything to stop it. Uh, the whole point of showing up at people's stream like this is to cause interactions. There's no world in which he's doing this and doesn't happen. And you can tell that people are pulling his S or clueless or surprised. Yeah, he pulled it on purpose. This seemed very, very intentional. On a platform that takes the well-being and safety of the streamers seriously, you should get a serious ban for these kind of stunts and be permed a second time. This is middle high school bullying type of S. Exactly. Don't do it. That's why I always push. Don't bully. Don't harass. Don't do any of this kind of stuff because no one deserves it. Zero people deserve it. And I am really frustrated that even if, you know, so you can have your dislikes of ASMR content. You can have your dislikes of lewd tubers. You can have your dislikes, but don't harass them. Don't make it a point to go and harass somebody. Don't do that. More information on the Leah Kitties thing since I found this just recently. Again, adding to the recent video that I put in here, the recent part that I put in. Uh, the harassment and abuse continued long after he had left and multiple other feminine presenting streamers were targeted. Play close attention to my chat and his chat box as well. Uh, we're going to, um, what we're doing, if we can send it out, we're going to send it out and I want to actually show it to you guys uh, because, you know, it is important to actually take a look at this and uh, see everything for what it is. Let me take a look at the window capture, the specific one for what we're trying to look at. Here it is. Here is him going to her chat, going into her chat and uh, basically being evil and being like mean and being uh, somebody who's like going to just be mean for the sake of being mean, I guess, is the only way you can really say it. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm gonna tell her that Agent wants her. I got you, Agent. Hold up. No, 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 no
and implement such strict internal controls or dissemination of information. We ask your continued support of ASAP Club. So basically, they're, they're throwing Ivy Sanji under the bus from what it looks like. Um, this person is saying, you know, they're beating your ass in, in court retweets. So yeah, there's a lot of things going on here, but ASAP Club has decided to basically throw Nidhi Sanji under the bus and they have decided to be like, yeah, um, they are not, we, we have corrected ourselves. We are, we, are, I made a mistake. It is not as safe as we said it was. Please be careful. Pretty much throwing Nidhi sisters and Nidhi Sanji under the bus. If you have watched my other video, if you have watched my most recent video, you'll see that Albin Knox is taking about a three month hiatus from June to around September slash October, three to four months around there. Uh, a friend of his, Melon Bread, I think it was a friend, mentioned that they were going to be doing this in order to find, you know, find themselves, better their Japanese, improvement pretty much. So improvement was the guise that this was made under. And of course, once this happens, a lot of people are like, he's gonna get suspended. He's totally graduating. There's no way he's coming back. He says the people that are, are this silly have actually watched haven't actually watched my explanation stream and are going to look really really dumb when i come back after uh, better than ever if you see stuff like this just ignore it trust the process of course people are always going to be like oh my god he's gonna graduate because i mean niji sanji hasn't given us a reason to trust them niji sanji hasn't given us a reason to be like oh okay he's gonna be fine because stealth suspensions are a thing we found that out through sayu and other means stealth suspensions are a thing so Anytime someone goes away in a company like that, you're immediately going to think stealth suspension. Why do people not think about that in Hololive? Because Hololive doesn't do stealth suspensions. If they're going to suspend somebody, they let everybody know about it. They're not just going to be like, oh, stealth, 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 stealth. No, they're going to be like, this is why we're going to do it. This is why they're getting suspended. This is the this is the process that's going to happen. They're pretty transparent in that process, at least for that part. So I like Alvin, but like, what did he expect? Doki situation caused a ripple effect. Talent break NDA, not getting punished. Talents are instructed to speak on behalf of other suspended terminated talents. And they clearly still suspended Kotoka. People just don't trust the words of talents anymore. And it's going to take a long time to rebuild that. Absolutely. Still trust Albin though. I believe he's a good guy. Something noticed in his Twitter that Michi follows him, which I found interesting. That's why I had to go back and add that last part. I trust Albin, but he's got to realize that a lot of the distrust speculation comes from Nidhi Sanji, not from him. So it's not about him so much as it is about people distrusting Nidhi Sanji. And I fully understand that part. The fact that talents feel the need to specify stuff like this while working under Nidhi Sanji isn't very good look for Nidhi Sanji overall. The fact that suspensions is what everyone assumes also tells you a lot about the company. Now, if the company changes, I'll be honest with you. If the company changes and things start looking better for the talents, then cool. I will push for the company to be supported again. But so far, the talents are kind of on their own when it comes to management, when it comes to a lot of things. So I'll keep my beliefs right now. Uh, of course, I always want the best for the talents, even though a lot of people say that what I do and I say isn't for the talents. I truly do this for the talents and, you know, because I'm interested in news. But uh, never harass them. Never send any of these kind of things to Albin. Albin, as far as I know, has been clear of a lot of things. So uh, just, you know, respect him. Respect that, you know, he's saying these things and respect that, that uh, you know, he probably means them. So please just uh, follow those words if you can. P2Y, P2Y.jp is an organization that I've covered many times before. It is one of the few that is covering Nidhi Sanji. And recently it has uh, serious unauthorized access attack. We have shut down our site. Please wait for a while until it's restored. Basically, that's what this one says. Uh, due to worsening situation, it's believed to be an unauthorized access attack. They're currently shutting down the site to protect it, of course. The damage caused by unauthorized access makes it impossible to continue the operation of our site. We expect that it will take some time to restore the site. So they got attacked. It was a DDoS or a malicious attack, and they are going to recreate the site. They're going to recreate the servers, recreate the site. Um, everything is going down for now because uh, I guess, I don't know, their IT said it's probably best just to recreate everything, new authorizations, new stuff like that. That's worse than a DDoS. Very curious what the nature of the attack was. Damage caused by unauthorized access. Thing is accurate translation, infiltrating using bypassing ID or password. So they bypassed authorizations to get in. They got passwords and try to take information of any subscribers, that type of stuff. So it's really bad. Sounds like a combination of phishing and possibly privilege escalation or insider. The part to be investigated probably be lead to someone who most likely has been asked to favor by any color. That's a big rumor though. That's a big rumor. That's that's a bit of a stretch. There are a lot of people who are just angry that they've been doing things against the Sanji and they may have paid somebody. It could just be a hacker who's like, oh, this is a site I want to get into and just did that. You never know. Can't really tell. If you remember... The other day, I had a video that said that Mint specifically mentioned that they never received fan gifts. Now, Pomo previously mentioned, because, you know, they Mint Pomo, all that kind of stuff, previously mentioned that they had received fan letters. And we I also showed a Niji Sanji ID person that said, do not bother sending gifts, because if you send gifts, they're not going to get to me. So 
I think that this is primarily because of the fact that Niji Sanji doesn't want to spend extra money to send uh, the gifts to the person. You know, it becomes like a drop shipping thing where it, sh it gets shipped to Niji Sanji to say to protect the the in you know the privacy of the person. They Niji Sanji then sends it to them, but in this case, it appears that that was not done either. So let's take a, a listen to what she has to say. I went to a convention, <laughs> Anime Central. I made a surprise appearance at Ayami Sensei's panel. Oh my gosh, someone though, someone gave something to Ayami Sensei to give to me, which I was like, huh? I was so huh? shocked because I was like, no one will have anything. First of all, I didn't expect presents at all. <laughs> but also, I was a surprise guest at the panel. No one even knew that I was there. Someone gave her a signed Metal Gear poster. Oh wow. Dale Kojima to give to me. I was so shocked. I felt bad that they gave it to Ayami Sensei. <laughs> Because I was like, ah, you should be giving gifts to her. What's your policy for gifts at Afkai? Anything but food is okay. Anything with food, yes. Mind, like snacks <laughs> if they're wrapped, but like no handmade. No food. open foods. It can get you sick. Okay. Which I think, um, uh, <laughs> if we'll have to say this. Uh, it will be like my first time receiving gifts, so I'm really excited about it because, uh, in back in heaven, there were times when people would give gifts, and I, we were told that we would receive them, and I never received them. Oh, that's messed up. I think about it all the time because I just feel so bad about it. How there were people that were giving certain things, or we bought something with their own money, and then I just never received the gift. So that is really messed I don't up. Know if, like, maybe, maybe I'm still waiting on it. I don't know, but, but um, even from previous times too, like the people would give stuff and then they would just never show up in the mail. I'm really sorry if that happened. That's why I'm excited this time that I will actually be able to receive have a delivery caught lacking. <laughs> there was stuff too that I was really looking forward to. But, oh. Did you ever receive your letters? I did receive those! That's why I thought it was strange that I never got the gifts. I thought it was strange that they just didn't include it. I don't know. Maybe if it was like a lack of communication or someplace sent it and then whoever received it then didn't send it or if the first place didn't send it. I don't know. I don't know where the lack of communication is happening. I don't know. I don't have any contact anymore. So I just think it's kind of crummy if they say gifts are allowed and people give gifts. And then you give it is very crummy. Anyway. It is super crummy. It is messed up on so many levels for someone to be promised gifts, be promised a gift in, you know, she was promised gifts when she was in heaven, when she was in her old company and they sent it. People paid money for it. People made it. People, you know, made whatever and they never got it. That is just not something you do. That is not something you do. You're a company. If you want to charge them shipping, then charge them shipping for it, but send the gifts. That's like, I'm glad when I receive gifts and I have received some, and I'm very glad, and that's why I have a PO box open for that. But um, when someone doesn't, especially from a large company, like we know where she came from, from that large company to not receive anything is just deep-seated evil, pretty much. Like it may have been a miscommunication, but you're a large company. You should know how to send and, you know, send things and communicate properly. You should. At least that's the hope. The hope is that you should. The hope is that you do. But who knows? A big congratulations for Fanana. She's almost getting, um, getting to her 500k. She's almost to 500k. Push her to 500k, people. <laughs> it's a bit of a joke here. It's a bit of a of, of a little funny. But yeah, Finana has gotten below uh, 500k. Uh, a lot of people still don't like her for the things she said about Zion, uh, about you know being lied to, gaslit, etc. Uh, Nijian growing in reverse. She just went past 500k, and the next milestone is 450k. Reverse entropy. Uh, she gets below 100k. I, YouTube will never ask for their button back, and I, I don't think she'll ever get below 100k before graduation. I don't think it'll ever hit them that hard. Unfortunately, the memory of of the internet is very short term, so that is something that uh, you can't really hope for. You know, it happening. You should educate yourself now. Yes, that's a bit of a meme that's happening now with Finana. They're memeing on her pretty hard, and uh, she kind of deserves it for the way that she's been acting. Uh, she hasn't really been a good faith actor in many things, so kind of you know don't harass her but just stop following her that's that's a fine way to show you know with your pocketbook and with your vote on who not to follow a bit of a short one for Lyra, as you know of course you know people are going to have conversations about this she had one and a half bananas at the point that this person was taking the picture i will let you guys see that right now it is at the point that this person take a picture they could take a picture when the person is at their lowest at the lowest amount that they can hold when they, it's a, could be at the very beginning of the stream I'm just letting you guys be objective here. Just being objective. And it was like 320 last time. Probably because the age restricted stream. If you're talking about Bunny Garden one, how many views were normal before the yacht? She doesn't go below it. 
Seems like 1,500 to 3,000 was what she used to have. I won a 3K. Uh, good to see. In general, it's not a good draw for them. Uh, let's see. Uh, comparison size HSR stream of the Honkai Star Rail wasn't so good. So she could have gotten around 1,000 at the end of the day. But what this person is showing here is that the 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 Finanas weren't that strong this time. It was only like one and a half Finanas. So yeah, people are going to have their opinion. And I just want you to know that this could, this picture, this image, this whatever you want to call it, could have been taken at any point in time at any point in time and that's that's the issue that's the, that's the thing going on here this is as of now non nidhi sanji related of course this is deerskin talking about uh want to say this too before i forget since asen was my first time saying i'm at a con for any future events i'm okay with you coming up and saying hello but if you think i'm associated with another person please don't bring it up i'm just me this is a personal account this is why it gets a surprise when people ask for a signature i don't have one so i just end up writing my username but some people, sometimes people ask me to find things that's not me or ask me if I'm someone else. I understand in the moment it might be easy to confuse me for someone. But in the future, please try to be mindful of it. Separate things from are separate. Sorry for the way it's confusingly written, but I hope it gets the idea across. The main idea of this is a PL account is a PL account. A Niji Sanji account or a larger VTuber account is a larger VTuber account. Do not get them confused. Do not talk about them. Do not talk about the separate account in their new account. Do not mix these things up. It is rude. It is, it is scary because it feels like doxing in some cases, especially if it's the IRL person. It feels, it can make a person feel very uncomfortable. So please, as a PSA, don't do this. Pomo is not her IP. She can't use the IP of Niji Sanji. Uh, Pomo is Pomo. Deerskin is Deerskin. Min is Mint. Exactly. Her private life is private. Respect your streamers and your Oshis. Absolutely. They're three separate people. There are three separate things. That's the way it works in the VTuber community. Do not mix these up. Please do not mix these up. Think something even we are trying to get used to that many indies, semi-indies now have possibly have two PLs. Used to be just past life and now private life. Both are being used together. Different purposes. E.g. Deerskin Mint. Deerskin is her idol stand. Uh, while Mint is her VTuber identity. You have Kami Michi, which is technically speaking Sea Dog Booby. That type of thing. Or Bubby. Uh, guests keep Mint separate. Of course. Um... And worst case scenario, she could be talking about Pomu. Keep all of them separate, please. And if they've graduated, do not talk about their past graduated life. That one is, is set to the side already. That one is so already, you know, done, said and done for. Do not mention it to them. You can talk about them in, like, conversations you have privately, but do not mention it to them directly because that makes them feel uncomfortable. Thing. This is something that I am fully behind. But I did not expect someone to actually do. First step to build my life life, Inugami Korone has been done. And every uh, build, the legs, the hardest because they have to hold everything up. Once they're done, it wouldn't be that much longer before she is done. Here is their current, the, the you know, bottom even has the leg forms correctly. You know, the crotch area, all that kind of stuff, basing it on Korone. And um, they're continuing on to do their stuff. I love it. I love the fact that that uh, this person has, has this type of thing going on. That they are doing Inugami Korone stuff uh and you know let's see the 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 process of everything this person says he's done building it he is done when was he done about it he was done on the 22nd of may uh it's raining outside so he can't really show it out there but he has a life life-size gura and a life-size korone that he has here and uh you know he's a big uh, he's a bit of koronoski and he says i want to show her off but the weather's not cooperating with me at all just build neko i uh, build a neko mate for the time being and show them both together sorry for the repost i'm not i'm paying the edit button not paying for the edit button so yeah he doesn't want to pay for the edit button which makes sense makes sense to not pay for the edit button because why why did you need an edit button when you have you know you can just post everything that you want here it is another one here another close review uh for those who don't know what i'm talking about building a life life corona it's very cute but it's very amazing a lot of a lot of stuff oh my god corona got cut in half what the heck? Korone got cut in half. How dare? How dare Korone get cut in half? How dare you? I'm in the home stretch with a few hours of Inamari Korone being done. And, uh, you know, the, the post that we had seen before. All the internal structures, the face, um, all, everything. Holy crap. If you look at all these pictures, look at this. The facial structure, the uh, the supports inside, of course, because you need supports. The full-on supports, minimal supports, but enough supports to make sure that the Korone doesn't collapse in on itself. Sky already has experience doing it with um with a a gura one so there's the bottom part right there as well and um you know just relaxing while they're doing that and he got the idea from a cyber truck i guess it's one of those things but yeah having a mad lad like this do some a passion project like this i'm pretty sure for some people it could be like ew but for me it's like holy crap man you are a mad lad for doing something like this it's all paper it's all done in paper 
It's all done in a print from what it looks like. It's just, it's a build. It is a paper build of everything. And I don't know exactly like because of the fact it has to be paper. Like he's cutting it here. It's all the cuts. Everything's kind of like a paper mache type thing that he's doing. But holy crap, it looks amazing. It looks polygonal. It looks, you know, like maybe it's like an old 8-bit game type of thing. But um, like a PS1 type of game, I mean. It's like a PS1 type of game. But it is a mad lad. And I'm very happy to show this to you guys because, of course, I'm also Kodonoski and I also in enjoy... Um, Gar Gooba, uh, you know, and, uh, I'm a I'm a hollow shrimp as well. So wanted you guys to see everything. A little bit of a lighter note with Toa and things going on there. Toa Sama uninstalled the rock rolling game, the game of Sisyphus, after playing it for 30 minutes. She played it for 23 minutes and then she was done. Strange game. The only winning move is to not play. And uh, this is here, right here. It's showing it's an older meme, sir, but it checks out. Okayu also did the same. She played it for a little bit off stream and then she scrubbed it off her games to playlist. Anyone that watched Toa getting over it stream knew this was coming. Surprised she lasted 30 minutes, to be honest. Wait, the game is even at, at 7 effing gigabytes? No one compresses textures anymore. Also in the game's defense, it's very long. The true raging demon. Toa-sama's Twitter is a source. Of course, I like showing the source of everything because people can make up a lot of things. Bales said a uh, thumbs up. Uh, Tokiyami Toa gave the the uh the handshake and then everyone loves this game like bay as well like it, it's it's showing how much bay dislikes it <laughs> she's she's quite she's she's not a chicken she's not a chicken she's she's clucking like a chicken holy crap she's clucking like a chicken holy crap but yeah she gave up on it and uh here's the next one saying 34 minutes before rage quitting the game of sisyphus she was in the the uh, right there 34 minutes is her full Game of Sisyphus. Uh, can Toa-sama play without losing her temper? Uh, no, she couldn't play without losing her temper because she lost it. She lost it pretty freaking fast. She lost it pretty freaking fast. So that's good. That's very good. I mean, it's if you're going to to do this, of course, you have to look at everything that's going on. You have to, uh, you know, know that things are not going to be great. You know, and I would probably honestly lose my cool on this one too. So I don't blame them. A little bit for you guys on Mori Calliope. As you know, she is a person from... Uh, hollow life she's the, the singing reaper uh she has big news uh that she's going to be doing soon of course she was in charge of ed themed go-getters for the anime suicide squad we know about that that was amazing uh but she has new things happening and of course as everyone knows by now she had knee surgery she was getting a little bit down on the dumps because of knee surgery because she wasn't able to move she's a hard worker she's a woman who works her butt off all the time like sometimes 20, 30 hours a day in some like the 30 hours, but you know, 20 hours a day, 18 hours a day, that type of thing, doing music and other things. And she is now saying that they have a huge announcement that's coming up. I've been waiting for you to come back. Look forward to it. Of course, take their time. I'm glad that they're taking their time to come back because that's what they need. Another new single. We're going to have to upgrade your title from cook to master chef. She always does singles. And of course, here we go with uh this here and of course it plays a little uh you know some animations while you're going of you know i am not playing the music here because of the fact that it is most likely copyright because she is part of universal music japan now so that will prevent me from being able to actually uh, play a lot of these things but you can take a look at the animation at least that's going on there a lot of people are very happy that she's coming back you have a lot of people in the waiting well 79 people in the waiting room but it's very happy they're coming back i'm happy that she's coming back and i hope the best for her we also have ninomai inanis which is ina of hollow myth which was the first generation of hollow yen she is a takodachi she is basically a cthulhu type thing uh she is um she has the great ones i believe or, or you know the secret ones uh behind her she has her book of secrets as well her birthday was on the 20th of may and of course because she has her own takodachi temple uh they did this for her and this one i am going to try to play i'm going to try to play this for you because of course you guys deserve to be able to uh hear what this person paid for i think this is a basically a uh, commission type thing where someone goes in and is making a voice experience to them <laughs> Ben Starr for the birthday message. Oh, hi, Ina. It's Clive Rossfield here. That's right, Clive Rossfield from Final Fantasy 16. Oh, and God. I thought it would be appropriate today on the most important day of the entire year, of any year, your birthday, to say happy birthday. The Takadachis hit me up and they said, Clive, you got to come here. You've got to celebrate Ina, and I will. And you know what happened? Is I celebrated you too much. I celebrated you the tune of listening to the incredible Mechanopsis, probably about... I don't know, 10, 
20, 30,000 times. Damn, that's a lot of times. Most of the views and listens that you have are probably just me listening to the song again and again and again because, you know, a world without love is not the world that I want to see. That is yes, cool. Yes, I, Clive, have saved the world, but you are the creator of many. We all know this. You are the person that we should all be celebrating today, but every day. Because you bring joy, you bring feelings and emotion to all of your fans, including me. You're massive, massive fan now. So count me as a fan. And thank you for being a fan. Maybe you're not, but you're great. So, I want you to know that today I will be only celebrating you. Sometimes as I like to celebrate myself, I like to take a little bit of time for myself, but no, it's all about you. You're incredible, you're amazing. Thank you for all the things that you do, the amazing, beautiful music that you bring into this world. Thank you for filling our hearts with joy. So, Ina, happy birthday. Have an iconic day. That is amazing. That is amazing. And I want to show you who he is in Final Fantasy 16. Just give me a second. This is the person who it is. It is Clive from Final Fantasy 16. Um, you know, it's, and of course, basically he, <laughs> he looks a lot like him. He has that very photogenic face. And of course, uh, Ina, was able to happily get this and the tentacles the group that is behind her the the takadachis were being very kind in giving her this and of course happy birthday and a happy late birthday i hope she really enjoyed it that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you